I, uh, I thought I'd show you Z Fold, another Z Fold album that I've made recently, but this time, just put that to the side for a minute, using the C and Shaw collection 6x6 papers from Craft Consortium. I, I should have showed you this before I started using them. <laughs> would have been a clever idea, wouldn't it? And I have quite used quite a few of them, but absolutely love those. Not that I've used them in this, this particular one, but these images and papers are absolutely fabulous, especially for the men. And there are some stamp sets that go with them and one or two other things as well. So I haven't bought all of them, but I have bought some. So these are some images that you can cut out and use to, for your projects as well. So that's that. So I just, there is, I think there's two set, stamp sets. I only bought one. Um, I'll put this on behind some white so hopefully you can see them a bit better. Absolutely love that sale. It's so cute. And then the puffin and the the ship, the uh, yacht ship, whatever it is, brilliant for fellas. And then, of course, the lighthouse is brilliant too. And then, I, that, that I think is brilliant because it can be used as like a glass bottle or a bowl of, of light wool, depending on what you want to use it for. Um, so that's that. And I did get the washi tape. These are three individual rolls. So you've got the wider one, the narrow, and then a slightly narrow one. Like I said, I've used them on my project, so you will see them um, being used as well. Like the container that they come in, it's handy. And then, because these were in packaging, but I've used it, I've used it, so. So there's like the, I, I did a project the other day and I used, depending on the colours you use, I use these in um, different colours and one was an, a box with like a uh, acetate front so I made the, it looked like an underwater scene but you can also use them as, if you use them, like if you use them in oranges and things as an underwater corally scene. And then I use them in greens and browns and stuff like that for more like plant effects. So there's that one and there's that one. They do look really good when they when the die cut and they die cut really easy. And then this cute little starfish, which as you can see, still got bits of the cardstock in. <laughs> but no, I've, I like, I love them. And then I also bought didn't come in this pack in this container I've put them in this but I also bought some sequins like I said there is other stuff uh, but I just this time didn't didn't buy all the range um, but that's what like I said that's what I've got right so I'll show you the project that I've done so basically the fronts are just slightly larger than 6x6 and the insides are more the Z fold is more six six by six, so because it's a Z fold card, you can't really find a good way to keep it together when it's not open. Um, so I decided that I'd make a band to just slip over. So using some of the papers and the sequins, I made a water effect, and then using the stamped. And I coloured that with water, uh, distress reinkers, and then I used the one of the starfish um, dies to make that effect. So, and then that literally just slips off. So I've kept that front cover fairly plain because once it's open, you don't really see it, and the band was quite fancy. So here we go. I'll show you try to show you. So I've basically um, using the papers and the dies as you can see and the sequins 
and then I stamped again some images on some watercolour uh, card and coloured them in again with Distress Reinkers and then I just used some Distress, Distress Spray inks that I had which I put on my glass mat, watered down and just went with a brush um, and then just some squiggles here and there just to give a bit of added interest and like I say so and then you can see some of the washi tape there and then this is the other side and this time I used the puffing stamp and that's the larger coral die and then that's a strip of the thinner washi that I used of course these papers are two double sided so it's brilliant you can just you've got when you flip them over they don't they don't need anything on the back and then again this was the one that I said you could like a ball of string or even a glass bauble thing um, then this bird which I don't know what bird that is you can tell me off for not telling for not knowing but anyway and then again the sequins so that's that's that and then over I've done this time I've made the fold over bit with watercolour paper stamped the image on again the sequins and everything just made a circular tie thing for lifting it up with one of the papers cut with a circle a small circle uh, punch here and then because this was watercolour paper on the back I did just added another piece of the um, designer paper over the top I'd cut out some circles for the um, shaker th thing on the front so I had that I thought oh yeah that looks all right so I added that and then this is what's underneath so again the sailing boat um, and I've just finished it off with some more sequins and stuff and isn't this paper cute? It's lovely isn't it? <laughs> and then this one I'll have to put this down this one I made this is like a pocket effect with again the coral and then this this one lifts out this uh, this time this lifts out and again I've used the if he's on slightly on a lean maybe I should have uh, stamped him a bit straighter up maybe he's, I'd want too many and then I just literally on all the, the watercolour pages just sprinkle some paint spots on after just to finish it off and then when you take it out that's what it looks like underneath so you've got a bit of interest when you've taken that out and then that just literally just goes back in so but I did it again. I'd probably put that more over here because it stops it going under. But anyway. So, and then of course, because it's a Z fold, I actually will do that effect. Which, you know, it gives a bit of different interest, doesn't it? Anyway, I thought I'd show you some ideas that you might want to use looks like my sequins might be falling off I'll have to re-glue them definitely use maybe stronger glue next time but then that just literally just pops over the top again and there we go so I hope you've liked the idea thought it might be um, something different from what the, from the ordinary type album Anyway, hope you like it. Bye.